in part. So let's focus on uh, 1 divided by 1 minus 2a. Everybody follow me? Let's just focus on this, okay? Now, look at my denominator. We got 1 minus 2 over a, so what's, what's my LCM? A. a. Everybody follow me? So we're going to take the 1 and multiply it by a over a, okay? Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. So now when I do that, I'm going to rewrite it as 1 divided by uh, a minus 2 over a. Any questions? Okay. Y'all understand what I'm doing? Okay. Okay. Let's go over again. I got one minus what? Two over a, right? Minus two. Okay. So I need a common denominator, right? So that's going to be a, right? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to take that one and multiply it by a over a. Follow me? And this is the part, the one right here. Yeah, we don't want to just focus on right here. Okay. okay, now that's going to give me what? A minus 2 over A, you agree? Uh -huh. So this is simply A minus 2 divided by A. That's all it is, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Right. A minus 2 over A. Anytime you have a common denominator, two. you only write uh, the oh. common denominator. Right, one time, one time. You okay. You repeat it twice, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, we okay now? Yeah. Okay, so let's move on. I flipped them too fast. So now we're going to take the 1 and divide it by a minus 2 over a, okay? Everybody follow me? So what happens when I take something and divide it by something else? Flip the 2 first. You flip it, you do the reciprocal, right? So what's the reciprocal a minus 2 over a? a over a minus 2. So let's go ahead and flip it. So we're going to do 1, right, times the reciprocal, which is what? a over a minus 2. Now, what is 1 times something? Itself. That's self. So this is really equal to what? a over a minus 2. Everybody got me? Okay, let's go over that again. Let's go over it again. Let's go over that again. Yeah, please do. Okay, now let's go over this again. What we have is we have one, right? One. Hey, I agree? Yeah. And we divide it by what? A minus 2 right. over A. Now, yeah. how do I change this to a multiplication problem? You flip, you flip it. it. Do the reciprocal. Okay. okay, so we're going to take 1, right, times A over what? A minus 2. two. Now, what is 1 times something? Uh, that, that is right, right. So it's A over A. What? Minus what two. Now y'all got it now? That's just one step. We, we good? All right. We just did step one. That's all we did. We haven't been included that two yet. Right. Okay, so we still on step one. Okay, so the first thing you did was multiply the one on the bottom, uh, one minus two over eight. Right. And you just did the one at the top. Then they included the one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So we okay now? Yeah. Okay, so let's rewrite right. the problem. <laughs> yeah, you have to delete the steps. Okay, you have this to do three it. step problem. So we just doing the one or three? Yeah, we on we still we still we go moving towards the two right now. Okay. Okay. So what do we have left now? We got a right okay, plus a. a step three. We haven't did that yet. Oh. Over that what two? two. Breaking into a brand plus new problem. A over a times oh. Okay. A over a minus two. Okay, so you problem. rewrite the whole problem. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to do it in steps, okay? I don't want okay. to lose anybody, all right? So now we you to do step two, okay? Now we're going to include that too. Right. Everybody following me? Right. So let's go ahead and do the calculations for that. So I'm going to do it over here. Okay, so we're going to do two, and then we're going to add it to what? A. A. A minus two. So what's my LCM? A minus, a minus, two. A minus two. So we're going to take the two and multiply it by A minus two over A minus two, okay? Uh -huh. All right. right. So we're going to take okay. the two and multiply it by A minus two over A minus two. Now, now that I have a common denominator, right? Uh -huh. We're going to write the common denominator one time, right? Yeah. So we're going to read, just write that A minus two, but only do it once, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's focus on the numerator. Distributive property says a times two is what? Two a, right? Mm -hmm. So that's two a. By the distributive property, we're gonna get what? A minus four, right? Right. Now let's go over here. What do we have over here? A plus what? A. A. Now do I have any like terms? 
Yes. Okay. What's 2A and A? It's 2A to the 6th. Right? Uh. So we get 3A minus what? 4. Oh. Four all divided by my LCM or my common denominator, right? Oh, and there you go. Okay. 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 That's right. step two, right? Let's move on. We move into step three now. Right. So now this becomes what? A, right? Divide. Plus A over over what? A minus four. Three A minus four over A minus two. A minus two. Yeah. Now we're going to go up to step three. We're going to include the A now. Everybody see me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got two more steps and we're done. Okay. Mm. So this is <laughs> So now we're going to take what? Wow. Right? And we're going to divide it by what? 3A minus 4. 3A minus 4. Over A minus 2. Over A minus 2. Now, what do I do when I take something and divide it by something else? Flip it. Flip it. We do the reciprocal. Right. So we're going to take A, right? Change it to multiplication and then flip it. 3A minus 4. Okay, everybody see what I just did? Right. All I did was I took step three, I took these, I divided them, right? I took the A and I divided it by what? 3A. A minus 4 over what? A minus 4. This is the one on top. Yeah, we're doing step three now. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Now, when you divide, you always do the reciprocal, okay? So I flip it. Okay. Now, what is A times A minus 2? A to the second. Yeah, A to the second power. Oh. Minus, minus 2A. Two two a, yeah. Minus 2A all divided by what? 3A. 3A minus 4A. Everybody got me? Um, and that's, that's step 3. We just did step 3 now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm going to copy it. You said I'm going to do step 4. No, we're going to move to number 4 now. We're going to include this A. We're going to broke that whole side down. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is, this is step three. We just completed it. So this is equal to A, right? Plus A to the second. Minus 2A all over what? 3A minus 4. 3A minus 4. Okay, one more step and we done. Wait a minute, okay. Okay, what is your denominator for the A? 3A4? Four. Yeah, three minus four. That's the number. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. That's the Right. 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 Yeah. Okay, now, can you finish the last step? Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish this last step. Yeah. <laughs> can we use our notes? There's a lot of stuff yeah. there, though. Notes are overrated. No, I tell you what, if I let you use the notes, I normally get like five extra points for showing your work. If you use notes, I'm only going to get maybe one or two extra points. Oh, no, no. Yes, no. Let me show your work with notes, you should be able to get Right. But students don't, they do it now mm -hmm. with notes. I don't know, but we get let know. Like, my, my you don't need enough points to use notes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave it up to you. I'll let y'all do something. Oh my god. Okay, now what's my common denominator? 3A minus, minus okay, 4. So we're going to take this A and multiply it by what? 3A minus 4 for 3A minus 4, right? Right. To get a common denominator. Because how did he get the A plus? I don't Okay, yes, now, so. I have a common denominator, right? Uh -huh. So write that once. You only write the common denominator once, okay? So that's what? 3A minus 4, right? Right. Now let's focus on the numerator. So we got to use the distributive property, right? Right. So 3A times A is 3A to the second power. Mm-hmm. Minus 4A. 4 times A is negative 4A, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Plus what? A to the second, A to the second minus. minus two A. Okay, now do we have any like terms? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's three of these and one of these? Four. That give me four of these, right? Yeah. All right, so let me rewrite the problem. <laughs> so that's uh, four A to the second power, right? Now, uh, the linear terms, can I combine a negative 4 eight with a negative 2A? Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to give you what? Negative 6A. Negative 6A. 
All divided by my county and army, which is what? Now look at my numerators. Do these terms have anything in common? Two. A 2A, right? Mm -hmm. Take out a 2A. Oh my gosh. And then I get a what? 2A minus what? 3. 3. All divided by what? 3A minus 4. And there you go, you finish. Finish. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't distribute that, that, that 2A? Uh,